Calgary Flames general manager Craig Conroy has gotten down to business and has made several sneaky good moves. He has signed a couple of young RFAs to new contracts with the team and has even brought on a former Flame as a skills consultant. Great stuff from Conroy here. We're going to get into all of it. But first, I want to welcome you to Flames Digest. I'm Mark Griffith. If you're new around here and you love the Flames, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest news, updates, reports, and rumors revolving around your Calgary Flames. We would love to welcome you to the Flames Digest family. I already know what a lot of you guys are going to be saying. That third image from the little intro video there, it looks just like me. I know I look like Matt Stajan and well, spoiler alert, he is back, but we will save that for the end of the video. But first, before we get into that, let's get into these moves. Conroy's making some moves. Let's get into the big ones here with some RFAs being re-signed to the team and it's never a bad idea to have more guys around so this is the first one the picture i got itself is from instagram but of course it comes from the flames the flames have re-signed center cole schwint to a one-year two-way contract with an aav of 800k and that is a nice amount of money to be making at a relatively young age but either way we know what Schwint is capable of. He had a chance to come up at the NHL level last season, and I kind of hate to say it for him, but I don't know if he'll get a better chance this year. He played less than five games last season, but in those games, he just didn't quite impress enough to really even have the opportunity to make it known that, you know, he is or could be an everyday NHL player. It seems more so that his career is kind of destined for the AHL. And that's why this one is a two-way contract with just the one year as well. The Calgary Flames announced today, which is yesterday, that they have re-signed center Cole Schwint to a one-year two-way contract. Schwint, a Kitchener, Ontario native, made his Calgary Flames debut last season, skating in four games with the club. The 23-year-old also skated in 66 games with the Calgary Wranglers of the AHL in 2023-24, netting 14 goals and 22 assists for 36 points during the regular season. So not bad. About a point every other game. And we know this man scores a little bit on the ice, but boy did he used to score off the ice. When your dating history is more known than your actual professional ability and athletics, maybe that's a win for some, maybe it's an L for others, but either way. Look, I don't know if he's still dating overtime, Megan, but look, it, it looks as though he got a new contract. I'm sure he's happy. In the playoffs, Schwint scored a team leading four goals in six contests, including one game winning goal. He was awesome in the playoffs. He really was. The Wranglers, it still to me is such a shock that they went out as early as they did because they really seemed like they could have gone so much further. Imagine if Dustin Wolf was down playing for the Wranglers at that time, or was he? And I'm just tripping. Maybe he was actually, now that I think about it, or I'm getting my years mixed up. But either way, Schwint was great. I don't know how much he'll play at the NHL this season, but one thing we haven't done in a little while is look at the stats from last season from our very own Digest Media Made graphics. And this was Schwint's stats last season. So he had four games, did not register a point. He had just the one shot, was a minus one in a little bit less than seven minutes of ice time per game. Excuse me. Um... It's interesting to note that at the time he did come up, the Flames were still a relatively competitive team. They hadn't made all those trades yet. Um, so it's not like he he was given a good opportunity as in it was a better team that he was on, but he wasn't given a great opportunity in times of he didn't get as much time on the ice. His Corsi 4 percentage, as you can see, there's way less than 50, which is obviously quite terrible. Uh, but he's still relatively young. Who knows? Again, I think he's more so destined for the AHL for his career than the NHL. But either way, let's get back into the full contract here. So as we saw before, one year, two way, 800K. Cole Schwint is a center, born in Kitchener, Ontario, April 25th, 2001. He is six foot two, 182 pounds and shoots right. He could put on a little bit more mass to hopefully become a bit more of a threat. But here's the thing. He's not exactly, you know, an offensive, skilled maestro. He's not big and, you know, can just beat people up. He doesn't have anything that's overly positive, but again, he doesn't have anything that's super wrong. It's great to have him in the organization, and that way, it's a sneaky good move because, you know, he was a piece in the Jonathan Huberto trade and was supposed to be a, a decently good prospect, and obviously, we hope he continues to develop well, and who knows? Maybe I will be, you know, biting my tongue later when he is up in the NHL. And 
I don't know. Either way, I'm happy he's still with the team. We did make another signing. We re-signed Mr. Ilya Solovyov as well. So the Flames have re-signed defenseman Ilya Solovyov to a two-year contract extension with an AAV of 775 k per season. So this one has a little bit more term at two years, but it is great to have him around another defenseman, of course, um, but it's super, super exciting. He's obviously more of your bigger, more defensive defenseman, and it's never a bad idea to have some of them around. The Calgary Flames announced today, which was yesterday, that they have re-signed defenseman Ilya Solovyov to a two-year contract extension. Solovyov, a native of Mogilev or Mogilev, Belarusia, made his Belarusia, Belarus. <laughs> Wow, I need to work on my geography. Belarus made his NHL debut during the 2023-24 season on October 26th and would go on to skate in 10 games for the Flames throughout the campaign. The 24-year-old would record his first NHL point on December 5th with an assist against the Minnesota Wild and was just one of three 2027th round draft picks to skate in an NHL contest last season. In the AHL, Solovyov posted 15 points from five goals and 10 assists in 51 outings with the Calgary Wranglers and would add one goal in six playoff games. So I say, you know, he is a defensive defenseman, but he can chip in offensively as well. I mean, 15 points in 51 games isn't too bad at all. And a goal in the playoffs, he played very, very well as well. It's too bad that they weren't able to go any further. We bring up our nice little graphic here of his NHL stats from last season. So 10 games, he had three points in those 10 games. Very good. Uh, three assists is what they were. He was a minus three as well. He came up kind of at different points in the season. So it's not the same thing about Schwint where it's, was he given the right opportunity? Were the Flames a better team then? He kind of came up at different times. So interesting there. Not bad stats at all. You know, almost 16 minutes of ice time per game is not bad at all. And I think he definitely will see some NHL time this upcoming year for sure. So great to have him signed as well if we get into the contract here again. So it's a two-year, two-way, two-way for year one and a one-way for year two, which is very interesting to note. Are the Flames planning on having him as a full-time NHLer? Not this upcoming season, but the one after. Very interesting to see. As we saw, the AAV, 775K, very, very cheap. And that way it is sneaky good if he does becoming an everyday, or if he does become an everyday NHL player. Um, Ilya Solovyov, defenseman. He's from Belarus, Belarusia. I still can't believe I said that. Belarus, he's born July 20th, 2000, so still relatively young. He's six foot three, 208 pounds, shoots left, and was a seventh round pick, 205th overall in the 2020 NHL draft. To just have a seventh rounder go that far in their career to kind of sign another NHL contract in a way is great news. It's it's great from our scouting. Solovyov is so good. I hope he continues to develop into a very, very good player. So good to have him back. Great to have Schwint back as well. And as I said before, welcome backstage. One of my lookalikes when it comes to the NHL. So many times, especially when I don't wear my hat, uh, I get the stage in comments, but here we go. Welcome backstage. The Flames have added Matt Stajan to the hockey staff as a skills consultant. That, again, comes from the Flames Instagram. You can see there it was liked by Danny Griffith. Shout out to him. What an absolute beauty. But either way, a skills consultant, to my knowledge, um, is someone who works with the players directly. So whether it's the Flames or the Wranglers, um, just within the organization, and works with them directly to kind of hone their skills or work on what they specifically as individuals need. Um, so it's great to have Stajan. You know, he is obviously a, a very skilled player. He played many NHL games. We obviously all have great memories of him icing the Canucks back in game six of the first round in 2015. That is one of the best goals of just my entire life watching it. There's actually a photo on my Instagram, shameless plug, Mark underscore Griffith on Instagram. But if you scroll a little bit down, you can see my celebration with the people who I was with. What an absolute amazing time. So good to have Stajan back. And I just want to take a look at a couple of comments from this Instagram post. So Drew said, Conroy collecting old players to work with him like Infinity Stones. And it's so true. It seems like there's so many former Flames coming back to the organization, which is a good thing. And we know Stajan, you know, was kind of one of those locker room guys so the players will instantly fall in love with him if they don't know him already and uh, you know we obviously have a Ginla around we've got some other guys there's always alumni 
peeking in and out of the saddle dome, always chipping in, helping out. Conroy himself is a former player and collecting them like infinity stones. When are we going to have the full gauntlet and take over the NHL? I don't know. Another great comment here from Shea. He said, could add him to the roster. Definitely most talented player on this team currently. That is awesome. We love stage. We know he didn't have the most skill in, in certain ways, but Man, he brought it every single night. We absolutely love Stage. It's great to have him back. And I know that's more of a shot at our current team, but it was still a very funny comment. And speaking of comments, let's wrap this up with the comment of the day as we love to do. And this one comes from Evan, and it's a good one about the kind of goalie situation. Should we trade for a veteran goalie? I don't know. But either way, Evan put it well here. He said, don't understand the eagerness to ship out Ladar. Healthy, he's solid. He's old enough and been around enough to provide some mentorship to Wolf and play some games while at a cheap price. If him and Wolf have a good relationship, keep it going. Play them 50-50 and see if anyone wants to crazy overpay for him at the deadline. But honestly, I'd keep him around for the foreseeable future if he gets his game back. And it's super true. There's The good thing about this is that there's so many options in terms of what Conroy can do, who he can acquire and who he can, he can trade away, who he can play this season, who he, he can play in the future. But either way, I think this is a good way to put it. We don't absolutely have to trade away Vladar. It's just one of those options. And who knows? He might play really well and he might form a great tandem with Dustin Wolf. We'll just have to wait and see. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe like what you saw here today and have a wonderful rest of your day.